Flexible Electronics is a technology with a bright future. It can take the form of lightweight bendable solar modules that can be sewn into clothes, digital labels that we could soon be seeing in our pharmaceutical packaging and everything in between. Flexible Electronics is made up of a series of layers called thin films. The problem is that these thin films are highly sensitive to defects. When we speak about thin film, we speak about thicknesses that are one micrometer or even less. So for example, a hair is 50 micrometer. So we are even uh, 50 times or 100 times thinner than a hair. Defect in manufacturing is, is anything that's present that, that you don't want to be there and, and which has also functional significance. So there may be defects which are so small that they're not, uh, we, we don't mind them. Defects can be found in the protective outer coating that protects flexible electronics or the opaque lining that coats food and drinks packaging. If gases, such as water vapour, seep through these tiny nano-sized holes, they can cause a product underneath to either break or significantly reduce its quality. In the PV stand, the classic defects are uh, pinholes in the plastic film which protects them against uh, water ingress. So if there's pinholes and the water is allowed to permeate into the, uh, in the electronics behind the, or, or the, the functional electronics, then it's going to prematurely age the, the device. In the paper packaging area, uh, there's likely to be smart packaging where we have electronics actually on the packaging, which allows you to have, for example, moving adverts and things like that, and colourful pictures. Um, and if there's again, if there's a, there's a barrier layer on top of that, if there's water ingress into that, then it's going to ruin the electronics and short the electronics and cause problems. If it isn't cleaned and repaired at such a fine scale. You, you can get water vapour from the general environment will permeate through the, the polymer layers and uh, affect the efficiency of the photovoltaic cell. So for example, when you buy a cell and you put it on your roof, you would expect it to function for 20 years. If it's got poor barrier properties, you might only get two or three years efficient use out of it. Nanomend is an FP7 funded project that sees scientists from all over Europe coming together to find a solution to these defects by finding technology to detect them and correct them. Nanomend will en enable defect detection and cleaning. You can detect defect, manufacturing defects and remove manufacturing defects. The device will, will not fail so quickly, so, or it will function correctly, uh, or it will, it will last longer. The key challenge of Nanomend is to make technology such as flexible electronics that's highly sensitive to water, able to cope with the everyday environmental conditions around us. Organic electronics, for example, are so sensitive to water that even if they were the size of a football pitch, such as St James behind me, they could only cope with a teaspoon of water getting through their protective outer coating before they broke. The Nanomend needs to develop technology that can detect and remove these tiny defects to get rid of them and it needs to do so within production lines so it doesn't slow them down. Detecting and removing something that you cannot see is no easy task. In order to achieve this, Nanomend will use the science of metrology. Metrology is the tool to ensure quality of the product and in particular for high added value products we take measurement, nanoscale measurement out of the standards laboratory and then try to apply it to the manufacturing process. Tra traceability is the um, the, the property which allows you to say that your, your measurements are accurate. So if, for example, we're measuring the, the, the size or the shape or the topography of a defect, then we need to understand that the measurement devices we've got are getting the right answer. Current inspection systems have a resolution of microns. What Nanomend is trying to achieve is to increase that resolution to sub-micron. By the end of January 2016, Nanomend will have turned this technology into working pilot lines that will be integratable into the production lines of coated packaging material and flexible solar modules. The technology developed by Nanomend will allow a new wave of higher efficiency, longer lasting outdoor flexible electronics applications, such as digital displays, bendable solar modules and digital labels. The same technology will also allow environmentally friendly food and drinks packaging to allow food to stay fresher for longer. By the time this project is finished, Flexible electronics will be a much bigger part of our everyday lives.